What's up guys, Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk episode 96, and this week is different than any other week before, because you guys are the ones that decided what the main topic is for this week. We'll get more in-depth into that later, because we have other news to talk about. And the first thing is the new Pro. We mentioned it a little bit, I don't remember if it was last week or the week before, but we have found out the paint color the exact same as the normal probe, the one we know of now, and the new car will look exactly the same. So I can't wait to see that car out hopefully soon. Big Chief is tearing down the crow after the last last weekend at that no prep. We, we've seen him, they did like live streams on Facebook a couple times with him saying they do this often. Whenever they have a break between seasons, between races, he tears the car down, checks everything, fixes what he can, and buys new things if need be, so he can just stay at the top and be as competitive as he can be. Bobby Ducati is building a new big tire car. Yeah, he just built the new Lil' Legend, wrecked it, fixed it, and now is building a big tire car. He's dumping out, he's been dumping out a lot of money in cars recently, but I'm happy to see he's going big tire. I like Bobby. He's a good character in the street racing world. I enjoyed watching him in that Maverick on Street Outlaws New Orleans. That car was awesome. Sucks he had to get rid of it. But we still do not know what the big tire car is. He made a post on Facebook showing bits and pieces like of the tires and of the inside of the car. But we do not know what the car is. So hopefully we'll find out soon what the car is. Boosted GT won the Arkansas Cash Days that went down last Weekend, I believe, he made a post on Facebook and saying, Well, we went back to our roots this weekend and did a little racing on some blacktop. We battled through a tough field of small tire cars and was able to pull out the win. No cameras, no blocked off roads, real deal cash days. Looks like we can still street after all. Boosted, obviously he can street. He street races probably more than anyone else on the show. Like He's all over the country racing all the time. He's always out testing. And hopefully, we'll be seeing all that kind of stuff with his new car. But, yes, he's still in the 04 Cobra, the yellow Mustang. And that is the car he won the race with. He, it was an all-small tire car, I believe. Someone made a video of it. I don't remember who off the top of my head. But someone made a video of the race. So, I'll probably share it on Facebook or something like that for you guys to check that out. But, yeah, Boosted is building a new big tire car. And he's still one of, if not the fastest, small tire cars. And we'll get more in-depth in that in a little bit. And now, time to get into the main topic, which is what we talked about last week, which is the Street Outlaws No Prep down at Memphis International Raceway. This was filmed for the TV show, and I was debating over whether or not I should talk about it now or wait until it airs on TV. And I decided, well, face Earth. And I thought... And I decided, well, YouTube came out with this new community tab where I can, like, poll you guys and ask you guys questions. And I decided, I asked you guys, do you think I should talk about the race now or when it airs on TV? And tons of people voted and tons of people responded saying, please, please, please do it now. So that is what we are doing. Thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on that. That's just such a cool feature that YouTube added. There's so much I can do with this in the future with my channel. For example, I ask you guys questions all the time about my car. I ask you guys questions all the time about who you think is going to win this race. Who you think is the fastest small tire. Who you think is the fastest big tire. And now I can just pull you guys on the community tab. So make sure you guys keep an eye on the community tab. We will definitely, definitely, definitely be using that more in the future. But in the meantime, we need to talk about this huge no prep that went down last weekend. Saturday night was crazy. There was tons of awesome grudge races that went down. One, for example, that I know of was Marcus versus Big Chief. Marcus, he won the first cash days when Limpy came back, and they came back with doing real, legit, illegal cash days. He won that when he outran Murder Nova in the finals, and he raced Big Chief in the Crow, and he lost Big Chief's car. It's just crazy, and he beat Marcus in that grudge race. So I'm not going to get into all the grudge races because i got to leave you guys something to talk about once this airs on TV. And I'm not going to lie, I don't even know all the grudge races because I still want to see it on TV. But there's tons of other stuff to talk about about this race. One thing is they had a small tire race on Saturday night, and they also got together a big tire race on Saturday night. And the big tire race, it was an all-Memphis 
final. Three of the four cars remaining at the end were from the Memphis Street Outlaws. And Jamie Ott's ended up beating, I believe, Dennis Bailey in the finals to win. I believe it was a 10K pot. Jamie Ott's ended up winning, so congrats to him on the win. And also, there was the small tire race on Saturday night. And Boosted GT outran Mustang Mike in the finals. Mustang Mike's car was broke. The engine was hurt. You could just tell by seeing the race. But still, Boosted managed to win. He won that small tire cash days and then won this small tire race at the no prep. And that's kind of leading me in to something I want to talk about, which is who do you guys think is the fastest small tire car right now? After these past two weeks, I don't see how you can't argue Boosted GT. He won a small tire cash days and then won the small tire at probably the biggest no prep that's happened in the past couple of weeks. So at this very moment right now, I'd say Boosted GT is the fastest small tire car out there. And that, that's just like so crazy to think about. He's going big tire when at this current time, he, you could say he's the fastest on small tires. That's just crazy. I'm so happy he is keeping the small tire car and he's also going to have the big tire car. So who knows? Maybe we'll be seeing Boosted just rain over everyone and be the fastest small tire car and the fastest big tire car. But we'll just have to wait and see. And I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys agree thinking at this very moment in time, is Boosted GT the fastest small tire car? Like I said, I do think he is, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you disagree with me, leave a comment saying who you think is the fastest small tire car. And now moving on to Sunday, which is when we had the main event, the big 50K big tire race. And first round, there was Murder Nova versus Bodie and Murder Nova won. David Bird Jones versus Tony Folks. David Bird Jones won. Megalodon versus Big Chief and Megalodon won. He also beat Kai Kelly in a grudge race on Saturday night. And Big Chief, he got a little, you, you saw him pull the chutes before the finish line, the car, if you watch closely, got a little loose and he had to pull the chutes. I'm glad he did. He didn't, he could have probably stayed in it and won the race, but who knows what would have happened after he crossed the finish line. He might have, the car would have gotten too loose, pulled the chutes, wouldn't have made a difference. He might have crashed the car. So good thing he played it safe, pulled the chutes, and lives to race another day. Jason C beat Kai Kelly. Daddy Dave outran Jeff Lutz, but Jeff Lutz did crash the car you guys saw drove right into the wall I when I first saw that I didn't even have a reaction I was just so sad so upset but as you guys are seeing the picture right now they managed to fix it and put it back together and they said we fixed it in time to keep racing so but he lost to daddy Dave so I'm not sure what they kept, if they kept racing some more, if they got back in, if they did a grudge race, who knows? We'll just have to wait until the TV show to find out. But still, Jeff Lutz, that's so awful, so horrible that he wrecked the car. But he already has the car teared down and is in the process of fixing it right now. And when I saw that he wrecked it, I, at first I was like, oh no, this is awful. But then I realized, it's Jeff Lutz. He's going to have this thing fixed in like a week. So hopefully... Soon, we'll see that car back out racing on the street. And then Hammerhead beat Bobby Ducati. Scott Taylor beat Doc. Swamp Thing beat Reaper. B-Rad beat Kamikaze. I don't know if you guys know Malibu's Most Wanted, but that, that's what instantly pops in my head when I see that name. Mistress beat JJ the Boss. Probe outran Larry Baker. Ryan Hall beat Marcus. The Fireball Camaro beat Jeff. Chuck beat BB Killer. The Sonoma, driven by Jackie Knox, outran Jason Lancaster. And then Brian Britt outran Petey Smallblock. First round was crazy, and all the other rounds were crazy as well. But we're not going to talk about every single little round. This video would be like 30 minutes long. So we're just going to go on and talk about some of the highlights that happened. Some cars that broke were David Burr Jones, Murder Nova, Megalodon, Kai Kelly, and Scott Taylor. Those cars, they didn't... I don't know the extent of what they broke when I say that they broke. They did not make a full, complete pass. They did not get specifically outran. They had mechanical failures, and that is the reason why they lost. And then moving on to the finals. And the two cars that were in the finals were Vetman driving the Mistress and Ryan Martin driving the Fireball Camaro. And the guy who came out on top 
was Ryan Martin in the Fireball Camaro. That is right. He won the $50,000 no prep that was put on this past weekend. The Memphis International Raceway. And he won. Mistress did not make a clean pass. Ryan made a straight clean pass. Went right on down through there and ended up winning. But Mistress was all over the place. I believe he crossed center, pulled the chutes early. It was kind of a disaster for him. But still, congrats to both of them on making it to the finals. And congrats to Ryan on winning the whole thing. I can't wait to see this race go down on the TV show where we'll get to see a good in-depth view of every single race that happened and we'll get to see just tons of more information about it and I do not know what this race will be on like what series it will be on will it be the Street Outlaws New Orleans the Memphis Street Outlaws or the real OG legit 405 Street Outlaws who knows and some of you might be upset with me for not looking that up and trying to figure it out but that's just what, like, I talk about everything. I know everything that happens. I, one surprise I want to see was just when we're going to see this race. So I'll be looking forward to finding out when we'll see this race on TV. But once we do see it on TV, I'll talk about it some more. I know I didn't go super in-depth on it now, but that is because we don't really have a super in-depth view of it and a view that absolutely all of you have seen and know what we're talking about. So, like I said, Ryan Martin won Big Tire, congrats to him. I'm winning the $50,000. Boosted GT, one small tire, winning, I have no idea how much the pot was. And then Jamie Otts, one big tire on Saturday night, taking home $10,000. Congrats to all the winners, and thanks to everyone that showed up, putting on an amazing show. I can't wait to see it air on TV. And one last thing before I wrap this video up, is I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Camden, W. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name, but thanks, thanks, thanks so much for helping me just gather information for this. He helped me out a lot. I was busy, very busy this week, specifically with school. I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get it, but he came in clutch and helped me get everything. I'll put his Facebook page up right now. Go give him a follow. He does really good drawings of all the street outlaws, all their cars. He went to Outlaw Room again and had everyone sign the pictures he drew. That was just so cool, so awesome. And he's one of the good friends I've made through all this, all this whole street racing car, whole, this whole scene, one of the good friends I've made through this. So thanks, Cannon, so much for helping me out. It means the world to me. I appreciate it so much. And make sure all of you guys go give him a follow. You guys are seeing his Facebook right now, Camden W. He not only helped me this week, but he helps me a lot with getting news. He always just sends me stuff, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Camden. And make sure you guys all go give him a follow on Facebook. So, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. This video was awesome, fun to make and talk about. And just in case some of you were wondering, I said, you want me to talk about have this be the main topic or another topic be the main topic, and that was just going to be talking more about Boosted GT. I didn't go super in-depth on his car, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think he's the fastest small tire car right now? Leave a comment down below letting me know. I will also put up a poll in that community tab again saying, do you guys think Boosted GT is the fastest small tire car or no? And if you don't, just leave a comment saying who you think it is because this will be one of the topics of next week on Street Race Talk episode 97. So make sure you guys come back next Friday for Street Race Talk episode 97. And make sure you guys come back this Wednesday for another video of my car. This weekend, but maybe tomorrow after when I'm done recording this and I get this all uploaded and stuff like that. Or tomorrow, definitely tomorrow, we're going to be cutting up this van, chopping it up. Getting to the engine, ripping that thing out, and hopefully dropping it in Betsy so I can get that car finally out on the road. It's taken me so long to do this. But with this support and help from you guys, I know I will be able to do it. And one last reminder, make sure you guys go follow Camden on Facebook. He helped me a lot. I appreciate it so much. He helps me all the time, so please, please, please give him a follow. And make sure you guys follow me on Facebook at Sim ABC XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is Sim ABC XYZ. Signing out.